the incredible Chicago Hub Network High Speed Railway. Despite the decline in train ridership due to the pandemic, two proponents argue that high speed rail is a forward thinking solution that aligns well with the evolving U.S. economy. In support of this, U.S. Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood has announced the allocation of $2.4 billion to 54 high speed rail projects in 23 states as part of America's first nationwide program of high speed intercity passenger rail service. The Federal Railroad Administration, under the Department of Transportation, received an overwhelming response to the funding opportunity, with 132 applications from 32 states totaling $8.8 billion. This demonstrates the intense demand for high-speed rail investment and highlights the significance of this historic initiative. Secretary LaHood emphasizes that states recognize the unique opportunities that high-speed rail presents, such as job creation, revitalizing manufacturing, promoting economic development, and providing an environmentally friendly transportation alternative. To ensure job creation within the United States, more than 30 rail manufacturers and suppliers, both domestic and foreign, have committed to establishing or expanding their operations if they are selected to build America's next generation high-speed rail lines. This commitment was secured by the Obama administration aiming to support the domestic economy. The Midwest Regional Rail Initiative is a comprehensive plan to establish a passenger rail network in the Midwestern United States centered around Chicago, Illinois. The primary routes would connect Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Ohio, and Wisconsin with the potential to extend into Kentucky. Secondary routes would operate at lower speeds, serving Missouri, Iowa, Nebraska, and Kansas. Upgrades in Michigan and Illinois have already been completed enabling trains to travel at speeds of 110 miles per hour. Significant progress has been made in constructing higher speed rail services between Chicago and St. Louis in Illinois. The state has been at the forefront of pursuing high speed rail, securing $1.1 billion in funding in 2010. The goal is to establish this corridor as the premier one in the country. Currently, construction is nearing completion enabling passenger trains to reach top speeds of 110 miles per hour. Five trains operate daily between Chicago and St. Louis, with the journey covering 300 miles in approximately five hours and 30 minutes. A study has been conducted to explore the implementation of a 220 mile per hour service between Chicago and Champaign-Urbana, and legislation passed in 2013 grants the Illinois Tollway Authority to construct high-speed rail lines. Efforts are also underway to enhance connectivity from Kalamazoo, Michigan to Dearborn, Michigan, with an additional 135-mile extension. These upgrades aim to reduce travel time between Chicago and Detroit to approximately five hours. Michigan has received substantial funding for high-speed rail, as well as investments in Amtrak stations in Troy, Battle Creek, and Dearborn. One challenge faced in the region is a congested area of northwestern Indiana where freight traffic causes delays for trains traveling through Michigan. To address this issue, the federal government allocated around $71.4 million in 2010. In Minnesota, there was a proposed high-speed rail service called Zip Rail, connecting Rochester to the Twin Cities. The trains would have operated on a dedicated track, reaching speeds between 150 miles per hour and 220 miles per hour. The project was envisioned as a public-private partnership with public funding allocated for capital costs and private investment for operations, maintenance, and ridership growth. However, the Zip Rail project was discontinued in 2016. Positive train control PTC installation and testing have resulted in improvements for Amtrak trains, specifically the Lincoln Service and Texas Eagle, along the Chicago-St. Louis corridor. As a result, these trains were authorized to run at 90 miles per hour on a significant portion of the route between Joliet and Alton. Adjustments to Amtrak timetables in December 2021 reduced scheduled travel times between Chicago and St. Louis by approximately 15 minutes. While there is no specific target date for achieving 110 miles per hour speeds, progress is being made towards that goal. The Midwest Regional Rail Initiative is a prominent component of the Chicago Hub Network. It envisions the implementation of a high-speed rail network with speeds ranging from 220 miles per hour to 110 miles per hour centered around Chicago. Primary routes would extend across Illinois, 
Indiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Ohio, and Wisconsin, fostering greater connectivity and economic integration within the Midwest. Efforts to improve high-speed rail connectivity from Chicago include ongoing projects to upgrade existing rail lines. For example, the Chicago-St. Louis corridor has seen substantial investments and upgrades, allowing trains to reach speeds of up to 110 miles per hour. Additionally, plans are underway to explore a high-speed rail service between Chicago and Champaign-Urbana, further enhancing travel options within the region. The Chicago Hub Network's potential extends beyond the Midwest. It serves as a pivotal connection point for high-speed rail projects on both the East Coast and the West Coast. Plans for high-speed rail development in the Northeast Corridor aim to establish faster connections between cities like Boston, New York City, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C., with Chicago serving as a central transfer point for passengers traveling between these regions. Similarly, proposed high-speed rail projects on the West Coast, such as the California High-Speed Rail System, envision connections between major cities like Los Angeles and San Francisco with Chicago. This would create a transcontinental high-speed rail network, providing efficient travel options across the country. Unlike California railway conditions, the Chicago hub network seems way more promising. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more updates on the latest in transportation and technology. Until next time, stay curious.